Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are here to do a baby boy haul of everything that I've gotten so far. Okay, so I was going to wait until the very end of this pregnancy to kind of like go through and like list everything that I had gotten and then I realized that it would be a two hour long video. So I'm going to quickly go through some of the things, actually all of the things that I've gotten so far. So what I'm going to do to break this down for you guys is I'm going to do newborn essentials. So this is going to be just kind of like my top 10 products. I'm going to do postpartum essentials and then I'm going to say baby gear must-haves or just baby must-haves in general, not just for the newborn stage. Since this is my second time around, I feel like I knew what I was shopping for this time. I knew exactly what I was looking for. So keep that in mind. Most of the things that I've bought are things that I know specifically that I will need. Um, it's a little bit different this time around because I am having a boy instead of a girl. Um, so we're just kind of filling out the territories there, but all right, let's hop on in to all the shopping mama's been doing. Okay, so let's get the big things out of the way first. Um, I do not have a dog -a -tot yet, you guys, because $200 is like a huge pill to swallow for this mama, but um, I am hoping to get one before he gets here. But in the realm of similar products, um, I have, this is called the Newborn Boppy Lounger. Um, very similar idea to the Docatot. It's kind of like, it like hugs the baby. There's a cover on this one. This is actually the same one that we use with Kaya. But I got a cover for it on Amazon. And I will have all of these. If I can find the links, I will link all of these items down below for you guys. Um, so yeah, and then it has just has a nice little handle on top here so that you can carry it. Um, to where you need it to go. This cover zips off so I can wash it easily. And it is kind of like a, I would say like puke and <laughs> all of the liquids should wick off of this material. I thought this was a really cute print and um, this was definitely one of our newborn must-haves. They didn't have Daca Tots when we had Kaya. Um, she is three now. So this was kind of like our Daca Tot. Um, she, you're not supposed to let them sleep in this, but Kaya had acid reflux. So she slept in between us in this um, because it would keep her inclined just enough so that she wasn't um, miserable throughout the night. All right, second item is, and this is honestly, this is the exact same boppy, the exact same cover I had with Kaya. Um, I painted this dresser when I had Kaya. It's actually a black antique dresser and then I milk painted it so that it would kind of chip off a little bit and have this like cool effect. So when I was shopping for Kaya, um, I was looking kind of for that like same color to um, incorporate in her nursery. So that's where this boppy pillow cover comes from, is from the first baby haul from Kaya. So boppy pillow is a absolute must for us. All right, now I'm going to go through some of the clothing items that I got for him. Um, I have a ton of hand-me-downs. One of the things that I've gotten for baby this time around that I am really enjoying is I got a bunch of these like organizational boxes off of Amazon. Again, I'll have it linked down below for you. Um, I'm really enjoying putting his stuff away and having it look so organized and clean. Um, in here I just have a bunch of onesies that honestly are just hand-me-downs from Kaya. Um, they're just plain white onesies from Carter's. Everything from like newborn up to six months I believe are in this box. I need to wash them one more time um, in a round of draft before they're ready to go. But these boxes are absolute must-haves, especially when you have a ton of these little onesies. That way they're not just kind of like floating around in the drawer. Okay, so moving into the next little box. Um, we've got lots of clothes, you guys. I didn't realize how many clothes I had until I started going through this, but um, this is one of the first things that we bought for a little baby. Um, we didn't know if it was a boy or a girl yet, so we're kind of taking a chance because this is a little bit more boyish. Um, so yeah, just a cute little uh, multi-pack from Target. Now, I was nervous buying newborn sizes because Kaya never fit in them. Kaya was born 9 pounds 2 ounces and was 22 and a half inches long. So she, the only newborn things she fit in were onesies and that was for only the first week. Um, she was way too long for anything else in newborn. So 
I got these and I've got a little brother outfit. I think this might be his coming home outfit. Um, let's see, where are the... He's got some like little camo pants that go with it. And then um, there is a little camo hat as well. And this one, you guys, I just got off of Amazon. Um, I've been really impressed with some of the Amazon outfits and how cheap they are and how trendy and cute they are. Um, I've really been liking them. So, highly recommend Amazon. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are just like so little. <laughs> I can't believe how little these are. All right, moving into um, I just got a couple of plain black onesies, long sleeve onesies. Um, these ones don't have like the little like middies on the end, but I got a two pack from Amazon of those. Um, my mom, so we're from Minnesota, <laughs> and Minnesota is all about the lakes, you guys. Our whole summer is like that is what we <laughs> do during the summer is we go to the lake. So my mom got um, baby boy a little lake baby onesie from one of the um like cute general gift stores gift shops down in um chaska super cute i think this is actually minnetonka but anyway very cute and we got this two pack of onesies from target just some t um dr seuss onesies yeah they had some really cute dr seuss stuff out a few months ago so we snagged some of their um onesies that they had out and then one of my best friends bought like a multi-pack of just plain onesies for him um plain and patterned so cute i think she got these ones at tj maxx the fox is so cute and then there's a striped one and another little fox print I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm at like the tail end of a cold, so I'm a little nasally right now. So moving into some of the clothes that I've hung up, I'm going to try and go through this quicker because I have a lot more stuff. Um, so these little um, zip up um, like play suits or like jammy suits, um, what are they called? Do they have like a name on here? No. Um, but these are like the sleep in plays. I love the zipper ones. I, You guys, I only have one button one and that's because it was the first thing that I ever bought with Kaya um, before I knew what we were having. And I will tell you what, the button up ones of these in the middle of the night are no good. You do not want to be snapping up all those random buttons in the middle of the night and then having them mismatched like I'm the queen of that as soon as I start buttoning them up then they'll start they'll stop matching and then you have to start all over again and at three in the morning after a diaper change you do not want to be messing with that so I only got one of the newborn size and now I'm gonna tell you guys a little backstory so Kaya again was huge when she was born in fact after she was born they're like here's your toddler and so I was kind of preparing for the same thing with baby boy and then um, I know that these aren't like totally accurate but my anatomy scan was showing him at like 50th percentile and which is right at average and Kaya was always 80th to 90th percentile for her height and her weight um, for her length and her weight anyways in my belly and baby boy was only at 50th percentile so then I started panicking thinking like okay I might need some more newborn sizes like what if he's just a normal sized baby and not like a toddler sized baby when he comes out so you'll see here that I have quite a few newborn sizes. Um, I tried to get more stuff without feet just because I know that he will probably be longer if he's not um, as girthy as Kaya, as chubby as Kaya. I think he'll still be just as long. This was a hand-me-down from Kaya. This was the first piece of baby clothing Mike and I ever bought for any of our kids. So that's why this little piece is so special. And I like that it's gender neutral. Um, I'm obsessed with the Burt's Bees um, baby clothes. These sleepers are so nice. Like they're snug fit. Um, they've got the fold over cuffs for the baby hands um, because if you guys don't know, babies um, will scratch themselves in the face because they just have all these uncontrolled movements when they're little. Um, again, the zip. <laughs> so this is snug fit comfort stretch. 
the fold over cuffs like I said um, and then it has like little grippies on the bottom these are, like grippy bees super adorable um, I actually got most of these off of Amazon um, for a fairly good deal I want to say like less than ten dollars a piece so this again is another newborn size this is the Lamaze brand I can't remember if I got this off of Amazon or if I got this off of Target and um, that's mostly where I've done all of my shopping to be honest with you um, but this one's super cute I love the print um, these I got from Target so this came in like a two-pack from Target and again no feet yes it does have buttons but at least it's just around this little crotch area so there's um, less of a chance of me mixing up the buttons <laughs> this was so that it was a two-pack and this was the other print that came with it again from Target this is the Cloud Island brand um, two-piece romper set from Target newborn size but again there's no feet on it so if he's longer um, it won't be a big deal plus those look pretty big for newborn size it's so hit or miss you guys with like baby clothing because you could get like you could get newborn in one brand zero to three months in another brand and they're literally like the same size so so just remember that when you're baby clothing shopping that even though it says newborn or zero to three month the sizing is so different um all right so little sweater i got this from target i think this is one of the first things that we bought for baby boy once we found out it was a boy yeah zero to three month little sweater another one of my favorites for when babies are little are these little um sleeper gowns i want to try find a mustard yellow one as well and like kind of like a burnt orange but um both of these are from Amazon zero to three month again you're pretty safe doing the zero to three month even if they're too short for these you can kind of tie them at the bottom um and then if they're longer because these are really long you guys so even if they're longer um they fit in there nice and snug so with these um you can just kind of reach up middle of the night bunch it up change the bum real quick pull it back down swaddle them back up and all is well with the world so I have this blue one this one does not have cuffs on the sleeves at all um, but this one does and I love it's like a little baseball tee style isn't that so cute oh I love this one um, and this one I think does come in like a mustard yellow and I think I'm gonna order that one but cuffs on the sleeves to cover their little hands love this one super cute all right so more of these like sleep and play suits um, these ones I got from Target. This was just a three pack of the Gerber from um, Target. Super cute prints. Again, with the zipping. <laughs> Found this one off of Amazon. Um, and this is just like a little romper. And you can unbutton this part. Again, yeah, buttons, but at least it's just by the crotch. The sweatshirt with these pants. Oh my gosh, I saw these and I just died everything that's like miniature size to me is so cute so he has that little outfit um and then we're kind of moving more more so into like the zero to three month um range here i don't have a ton a ton of clothes i feel like i had so much more with kaya but okay so the rest of this stuff is more like older um zero to three month these hangers by the way i got from home goods um although i have seen them on amazon as well but lots of the Burt's Bees, you guys. Oh, I love the Burt's Bees. Zero to three month. I feel like this is probably going to be more so his size. They, the Burt's Bees are really um, thin and they're meant to fit nice and snug. So if you know you have a smaller baby, I would get the newborn size in, in the Burt's Bees because it's going to fit them nice and snug. They're not going to be swimming in it. And another of the Burt's Bees in the zero to three month. Aren't their prints so cute? I just love the like, I don't know, I like more of like the, I really don't know how to explain the look that I like, but you guys can get the gist. Super cute. I will be ordering more and more of these as he gets older. This one's a three to six month actually, so this one's much bigger than the other ones. Um, and then the last one, so cute my mom found this at a gift shop i think in um the lakes area in minnesota here's the front of it what's the size on this 12 months so she said this is the smallest she could find but has a little bear and then look at the butt isn't that so cute bear butt and then it has that or that bear bum and it has like the little pocket 
so cute. So my husband and I bought this little like bunting, um, but then realized that we bought it in um, newborn size and either it's only gonna fit him for a week or we're gonna have to go and return it and get a bigger size. But it's just like this really cozy, comfy um, baby bear bunting has like covers the hands. Um, it's really cold in Minnesota, especially in January. So I just wanna get as many warm things for him as I possibly can. All right, so pants. I already showed you these pants and I already showed you these pants. But um, <laughs> I found these little joggers. I think these are like zero to three month. Yep, I found these little joggers at Target and I could not pass them up because Mike has a pair exactly like it and I thought it'd be so adorable for them to match. Um, these I got from Target and this goes with that little sweatshirt that I showed you guys, um, that gray sweatshirt that we got from Target. Love those little joggers. And then I think this was a three or four pack from Bl Lamaz, um, and I think I got it off of Amazon. Oops. Just lots of grays. Um, I like more simple tones. Um, and pants, I like to get colors that will go with everything. So that's what I have for pants there. Last pair of pants I have are these, and um, I believe I got these off of Amazon, but just like a cute printed mustard yellow jogger pant um shoes and socks now i'm one of those mothers that puts shoes on my newborn baby but again it's because it is freezing cold in minnesota baby socks fall off all the time so you can't just put them in socks if i put the shoes on the shoes keep the socks on and keep their footies warm when it's like negative 30 outside <laughs> kaya kaya was born in september at the end of september so it was like 50s 60s outside um and now I'm so nervous like bringing this baby into the world when it's so cold outside and it's cold in flu season. So anything I can do to bundle him up. <laughs> I've got these little mocks. I got these ones from Target. And um, this pair is actually Kaya's pair, but it's very gender neutral. Um, these are Sweet and Swag. This is my absolute favorite brand of moccasins. A lot of people like the freshly picked. I love Sweet and Swag because they're only like $20 and they are um, super durable. And Kaya actually learned how to walk in these. So um, not this exact pair, but this brand of moccasin she learned to walk in. And we really, really love this brand. Um, and then this pair of shoes I just got from Amazon, I think. Um, but just super cute little tiny baby shoes. And then my aunt got him this little two pack of these Converse socks. How cute are they? They look like little Converse chucks. And then baby socks, even though one pack is never gonna be enough. I never understand like why they charge so much for baby socks. Like baby socks are more expensive than my socks and they're like a quarter of the material, but, and, and you lose them. So, well. Um, so moving into like more of the accessories for him, not accessories, but like some of the gear, I guess. Right, so I've got baby middies. Now these like can be kind of useless, but um, I was excited. This is when we first found out that we were having a boy and I wanted to get some baby middies. So got these. I just love the print on them, honestly. And then I found some matching bibs to go with that print. Um, Kaya was very, I don't wanna say very like spitty, but she um, definitely was a spitter. Um, always was drooling and was spitting up. But bibs are absolutely essential, whether they puke a little or a lot, definitely essential. Oh, I'm so nasally. Um, and then here's this little bib. I did post this little guy to Instagram. Um, my mom must have gotten this from my little gift shop because the tag on it doesn't say a brand or anything. So I think this was also from like the Minnetonka General Store. But this is more of like a thicker like flannel material. So this will definitely soak up the pukies really nicely. And then I got him a bunch of hats. Um, I got him and I matching hats, even though the hat that came with this, the one that's for me actually fits Kaya really nicely too. So I could do like sibling photos or mommy and baby boy photos. But this teeny tiny little winter hat with the pom pom on top, love that one so much. And then these, which seem gigantic to me, 
Um, but Kaya did have a large noggin, so maybe he will as well. Um, they're supposed to be kind of like slouchy on top. Black, striped, and gray. My mom got him this cute little bomber. Isn't <laughs> this so cute? I bet you he'll be just a teeny bit older by the time that he fits in this. Um, this is the Mud Pie brand, even though, yeah, she did this. She got this at the general store in Minnetonka, which is like a gift shop in Minnetonka. Um, lots of people go to um, Lake Minnetonka during the summertime. One of my favorite brands I'm finding right now for Baby Boy, and I want to get more of this brand, is Copper Pearl. Um, I haven't gotten any burp claws in the Copper Pearl brand yet, but I would like to. I've gotten some swaddles. I'm super sad because, so this is one of the hats that I got by Copper Pearl. Um, and I'm super sad because they sold out of the swaddle blanket in this. So I bought the hat thinking I'd buy the swaddle a couple weeks later, and then they sold out. So Copper Pearl, if you're watching this, bring it back in stock for me or send me a present. <laughs> I would love a present. <laughs> so, um, Anyways, but this is the actual set that I got him. This was the first set I got him, was this cute little triangle pattern. And I got the hat, and then I also have the swaddle to match that, which I'll show you in a second. And um, this one's not copper pearl, but this is part of his going home outfit, is that little camel hat. Well, we're getting there. Sorry this video is so freaking long. Um, and then I got those belly, the first year belly stickers. I think I found this at Marshall's. Uh, but yeah, I just found like the little belly stickers. Although I kind of want to get him one of those blankets now that like you can like circle which month he is. I cannot fit this whole thing into the frame. So I am going to leave a picture right here for you guys of what this um, diaper cart looks like that I got to go next next to my bed. So I'm gonna be doing a bedside nursery tour because for the first like three to six months, baby will be bedside um, just because it's easier for me when I'm breastfeeding him to be right next to my bed. We have the bassinet ready to go. Along with this, not just a diaper cart, I'll just say our essentials cart. First thing that I have here is the Little Remedies New Baby Essentials Kit. Um, so all of these products are safe for newborns. This has acetaminophen in it, some saline nasal drops, the um, butt paste with um, a little nasal aspirator too, and then gripe water and gas relief drops. Now really, these two items I used all the time with Kaya, especially the gas drops. She was a very gassy baby. Um, I kind of give you guys a close up of what this looks like. Um, I mentioned to you guys that I had um, a swaddle, so I'm gonna go through all of his swaddles now for you. Um, this is the Copper Pearl swaddle, swaddle. it's like super stretchy. Um, I'm really excited to swaddle with this because I don't necessarily like the muslin blankets for swaddling. I think they get too tight and starchy feeling, um, especially receiving blankets. I don't think those are really good for anything <laughs> besides cleaning up puke. Really excited to use this swaddle blanket. I want to get several more of these because I just feel like they're such a good material. But I do want to see if baby boy is going to enjoy being swaddled first. Kaya loved to be swaddled all the way up until like six months. So hopefully this little baby does too. Now this is a very similar material to the Copper Pearl, um, but it's a little bit thicker. I got this with Kaya. Um, it is slightly stretchy it's less stretchy than the copper pearl but it is stretchy um i would use this time to time the only thing i didn't like about this is it was like kind of awkwardly shaped so swaddling was a little bit more difficult but um a close second to the copper pearl so with kaya we didn't actually use blankets to swaddle we used the um swaddle me's or the i think they're called swaddle me's I don't know, she just looked like a little like baby caterpillar in a cocoon. <laughs> it was so cute. Um, I have, this one is the one that they sent her home in. This is like the halo swaddle. Um, but they sent her home in this one, which I'm sure she'll be, or I'm sure baby boy will be sent home in um, one like this as well. Um, this is one of the swaddle me swaddles and it has like Velcro on here and you can like adjust it, make it as tight as you want. Um, I wonder if I could like unfold this and show you guys like a little cocoon and this wraps over and then this tucks up and then once you're snuggling them all in 
um, the Velcros come over and then you secure it and they're good to go. I'll have to show you guys what those actually look like once he comes because they look so cute on them. Um, so these are very similar and they're not the Swaddle Me brand. Um, I found these on Amazon and I couldn't pass up the prints. The prints were so cute. So hopefully these work just as nicely as the Swaddle Me, but I, I'm in love with this one and I really like this one too. You guys, I like all of them, but this like Buffalo plaid is my favorite. Five swaddles there, six including this halo one for burp rags. I don't have a ton yet, but I do have um, a couple of these cloth diaper inserts. These are very absorbent, great for pukey messes. I do have a couple of muslin blankets just because these are, again, I don't like to use these for swaddling. I love to lay these down on the floor so that baby can kick and just kind of hang out. Or sometimes they're really good for like cleaning up messes, if you know what I mean. So my breast pump this time, I chose to go with the Spectra breast pump. I've heard a lot of really good things about this. I do also have the Medela. I don't have the Medela Freestyle. Um, it's the one that is stuck in the bag. Um, again, I have a couple more of these little containers that I have put inside of this diaper cart. Kind of moving into the breastfeeding realm now. I have, um, I got the Haka because I have heard such good things about this. Um, for those of you who don't know what this is, this will go on my three-year-old's journey now. This will go on the breast that you're not feeding on um, to catch any letdown. The last thing, this is what's on the top tray of my diaper cart. And as I'm gonna kind of just like give you a little peek. Um, this has like all of my essentials in it. I plan for the first week or so, I'm just gonna kind of stay in my room with baby. A lot of these products are products that I wanna have within arm's reach for the first week or so. Um, these are just samples of diapers that I have received, but I have diapers in here. Um, and then you'll also see that I have wipes. My favorite are the water wipes. So water wipes are my absolute favorite for newborns just because they have sensitive little bums. They're just getting used to the world and all of the things around them. So water wipes are really great. Um, I'm glad I got a sample of those. I'll be getting diapers and wipes a little bit more last minute um, before he comes. But no, those are what I've gotten good. for samples. On one of the side packets, now Kaya wasn't a huge passy um, baby, but I do have, I got these little straps from Amazon and then I got the little passies. Um, I got some of them from Amazon as well, which are the Bibs brand and um, a couple of them are the Nook brand and these ones are the Avent brand. I got several different kinds for him to try. Now we probably won't be doing passies until after the first um, four to six weeks just because I don't want any nipple confusion or anything like that. We'll see how it goes though. My baby the first time did not have any issues with nipple confusion, but then again, she didn't really like the passy. So lots of passies and I have those on the side here. And then also let's kind of go through the sides. I have, I have these PB teepees, which I heard are, can be very helpful. This is the ugliest print you guys. The company sent me the wrong print the first time. And then I got these ones off of Etsy. These ones are a little bit bigger. What? If you're not familiar with what these are, these um, go over to baby's wee wee <laughs> and stop them from peeing all over you while you are changing their bum. Okay, so getting into my very last section here. So I got some of this more natural um, baby powder. This is the Farms to the Apothecary in the lavender and chamomile. Um, this smells super good. It's talc free. I am all about that. These last two sections are more of my like postpartum items. These are all of my breast pads. So I have some of these Soothy Gel pads. I got some of the Earth Mama perennial spray that is supposed to help healing down there as well as the I got the perennial balm too so I've heard really good things about both of these sorry Kaya is having like an absolute meltdown right now because she wants me and then so the last thing I'm gonna go snuggle Kai um, the last thing that I have here is the Mother Love Nipple Cream. I've heard really, really good things about this nipple cream. Um, I'm open to bunches of nipple cream, but um, I am going to try this brand first. So this is what I use to keep my coconut oil in. Um, I'll probably just put, um, refill this right before baby comes. I am already using it as you can see, but the coconut oil I'll fill up and then I also use it on my nipples. Um, coconut oil is really good for like lots of things, but I like to use this on my nipples if they're itchy or need some soothing. All right, you guys, 
that's gonna wrap it up for this first baby boy haul. I am sorry it was so long. I'm glad I decided to record this for you right now instead of waiting until the very end. Um, I might have one more baby boy haul coming and then I will split these products up into newborn essentials, baby gear essentials, baby essentials in general, as well as the postpartum essentials and breastfeeding essentials. So many of the things. The postpartum and the breastfeeding I'll probably combine into one just so that there aren't a million videos on those essentials. Very, very helpful videos. I love watching those videos. I hope you guys enjoy watching this, these videos. If you do enjoy watching these kind of videos on my channel, please be sure to give this a big thumbs up so that I know you like it. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel before you leave and join my little YouTube family. I do lots of mommy videos and just like homemaking videos and decorating and all the fun things. Thanks again for tuning into today's video, you guys, and I will see you sometime in the very near future. Okay, bye guys. I have another blah, blah, blah. All right, so I say that a lot, don't I? Yes, I do. Oh boy. Blah, blah, blah. So out of breath, always. And my leg is totally numb. Blah, blah, blah. Just blah, blah.